What's up Raiders, Bionic here, welcome to today's Raid Shadow Legends video where we are going to do my progress update. I have now completed 19 months in this game as free to play, but before I jump into Raid, I'm going to take a couple seconds to cover Dragon Champions at the same time. Okay, I've been doing this for a while now, hopefully you guys are used to it. But uh, hopefully you also understand that this is to support the channel. Dragon Champions is a game that I am sponsored to play. It really helps out the channel in terms of uh, like financial support, okay? So I do want to remind you guys that you can support me literally by just playing that game using this promo code right here, Bionic, before level 15, which you can enter in the settings section, use promo code right down here, okay? All I wanna talk about in uh, this game right now is the fact that after five months i'm basically finally maybe i should have been there <laughs> way before this but gonna hit the t7 raid okay um i've been somewhat slow so i'm like a, i'm gonna say a low spender in this game just trying to catch up i started months and months later than everybody else so at this point it's sort of like trying to come up with a roster to do everything in the game but this game is all about rewarding you for patience long-term play it's not about hitting it big with getting the perfect hero for something you will literally get every hero in the game as you keep playing it sorry so um what i will point out though is maybe this section right here where i'm finally at a point where after five months i've went full circle in fact, I'm now uh, sort of like on my second round of legendary quests. Therefore, I've just gotten General Murdoch uh, all maxed out. And now right now we have Tulane, which is open. I'm probably not going to be able to get her seven star a little bit behind because I had to work on these two champion right here, Buff and More Doom, which are absolute game changers. They are next level. They've allowed me to finish first in the arena for the first time, literally in five months. Like my team is not crazy. Again, I'm not competing against the best champion champions or best uh, players in the game right now. Well, like here, rank number one, team power 135,000 is pretty respectable, okay? Overall, I have now about 58 heroes collected. Total hero power, 6 155,000. That's about half of the biggest players on this game, just to give you guys an idea. Maybe even a third of what the bigger, bigger players are able to achieve over time, okay? So still pretty happy about my progress. What I want to know, are you guys still playing this game? Heck, are you looking to play this game? If you are, I still have some spots open in my current guild. If we end up being a little bit too much, I might separate and make a second one. I do have a chat in my Discord to support you guys as well. I'm there to answer questions. So again, if you want to play this game, let me know and uh, definitely use my promo code, okay? Before level 15. All right, so enough with this. I'm gonna close this off for you guys. Let's go into the raid stuff. Obviously, when I start these videos, I love to complete my daily quests, which allows me to get my monthly quests, grab, sorry, a void shard and a sacred shard, okay? So doing all right on shards. Again, I always hoard them, okay? I do not use them outside of two chance event. Every now and then I'm gonna do a 10 chance event if it's uh, like right now, part of like a fragment collector fusion, okay? So um, still, I mean, if you guys have watched my channel, if you're on Twitch, I do say this all the time. Use your resources at the right time. It will net you more rewards. So like any time that we are not a, during a fusion, I'm, I'm going to be very picky on how I spend my resources. Anyway, all that being said, uh, let's bring up also YouTube here. I feel like YouTube tells the story of what I've done in the last month, right? So we started about a month ago, right here, 18 months, came free to play. Uh, we had the gem giveaway during that time. I just did both of them on Twitch. Recently, I've been doing those gem giveaways on Twitch. So definitely check it out. The link is also in the description of this video. Uh, just hit me a follow. And then every time I go live, which is typically Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday nights, 7.30 p.m. right now. That's the schedule I'm doing for the last two weeks. Probably will continue to do that for a while. And then we went over a couple of things here. Uh, I tried out a different game, New World Beta. Uh, I was gonna stream it. Computer couldn't handle it. Moved on to something else for now. So uh, I think the big thing for this month was the Spicy Chicken Wing Contest, which I went up against Hell Hades in the first round. By some miracle, I happened to win. 
I got really, really lucky with my champion pulls, okay? Uh, Relentless Rotos literally stole the game. But um, you know what? It was very, very fun to do this. I got together with a couple other content creators. It really gave a good boost to the channel as well. I've gotten a lot of subscribers in the past month because of this. So I really, really enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys did as well. And hopefully we can do a couple more like this. I lost on the second round against Scratch. Uh, he had a much better roster than I did. And I got totally owned in the champion uh, pool, right? But it is what it is. Then we did a couple of build videos. Uh, there is a playlist on my channel as well if you want to see all the build videos that I've done so far. We covered like two defensive teams for the arena, which is what I'm using right now. I'll get to that in a second. I did a couple of viewer polls like I always do. We covered the ultimate free-to-play account, which is literally not using void shards, ancient shards, and sacred shards. Just doing mystery shards and whatever the freebies and farmables are accessible in-game. Then this came on. The announcement for Lydia, which is going to be next patch, I'm going to hope it's uh, within the next month or so. So I am pushing for faction wars, like literally that is all I'm focusing on right now. Okay, so let's jump into that, see what it looks like. Um, for the arena, I can do that here real quick. I mean, you know, I'm always close to platinum, but I never finish in platinum. I just don't get up at 3 a.m. in the morning uh, or at night, sorry, to try and do this. I don't think it's personally worth it. And now we can craft that gear. So I'm going to continue to be patient until I have a better team that can keep me in platinum overnight. But that's a long shot. Like, you know, for me to compete against the 300 best players in the game, even though I've been playing this game for 19 months and I've been getting the content creator perks for the last three, I'm still nowhere close to being able to complete with them, uh, compete with them. Sorry. Uh, for Tag Arena, I mean, I'm going to probably move up to Gold 3. I could have pushed earlier for this, maybe could have finished in Gold 4, but um, as part of the first time reward, it's going to be Gold 2. Uh, which is decent. Right now, I'm sort of like only buying fragments, accessories, accessories uh, on, on the gold version as well. And then occasionally I will buy the ancient shard. I guess I'm, I'm just going to keep buying the ancient shard on, on top of those. Uh, pretty straightforward. And here's what I really want to focus on. Like I said, it is the faction wars. Currently, I'm at, I think you guys can see. Can you guys see? I'm going to move. Is that going to work? 722 stars right there. Okay. So um, that is pretty decent, I'm going to say. We have 819 total, therefore I need about 100 more stars, but it's not easy. It's obviously all the last stages of most of these factions. So like slowly but surely, I'm trying to rank up a couple of extra champions to 60. I did get away with like high elves with one champion level 50. I might be able to pull it off for Lizardmen. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Dark Elf right now, I have a hard time with the last stage. We're kind of playing around with that roster. Uh, Sacred Order, same thing. I have a little bit of a hard time with uh, stage 18. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can complete it, but I'm trying to get three stars, obviously, so I keep restarting until I get this. But uh, slowly but surely, I think I'll get there. I might not get a Lydia on day one, but definitely within the next two months, I hope to be able to pull it off as free-to-play. Okay, hopefully, first free-to-play player to complete Faction Wars. Uh, let me know what you think. Dungeons, I mean, nothing has changed. I'm using somewhat the same teams I presented not too long ago. We have a best time of a minute 30 seconds on the Ice Golem. For the Spider, we have a best time of 25 seconds. This is a hit or miss, still not perfect. Kind of working on the gear for those champions, but I strongly believe that Spider is a little bit obsolete now, especially that we have the new accessories from the Bazaar. That is the big focus, those new accessories. So like, I'm not going to do Spider unless I have to for like an event or a tournament, whatever, right? A fragment uh, fusion event, something of the sort. Dragon 20 under a minute as well, which is not too bad. And we have the Fire Knight, a uh, minute and six seconds. Okay, also doing pretty solid. I've been farming that uh, day in, day out in the last couple of days, looking for those valuable immunity pieces. Those are game changers for endgame PvP. So um, I hope to get some really good stuff in the near future. But then again, you know, it's all RNG, right? Uh, so that's pretty much it. Clan boss, I mean, you know, the usual. I think I'm, I'm always at a three key. I'm keeping myself in the range of about 25 million per key. I do not need to push for more. I don't need better gear to try and reach more. I play around with the roster every now and then to test a few things, but it's never like a drastic change between 25 million and 35 million damage per key. If anything, what I need is perhaps a different decrease attack in one champion that would include something else so that I can somewhat afford to drop somebody else and then use maybe like allies uh, join attack, right? Like a Kurila witch arm in this roster might actually boost me up to like 30 million per key, something of the sort. But still, until I reach 35 million per key for a two key ultra nightmare, there's really no point for me to like 
try and redesign this once again. Okay, I'm pretty I'm pretty okay with how it's performing for the time being. Heck, I might get the unkillable champions at one point and I might be able to do with that, all right? Uh, then we have, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, that, that sort of, you know, sums it up. So like I said, Faction Wars is the big, big, big focus. I also achieved this right here in my great haul in the last month. Full gold, literally everywhere, gold, gold, gold. And I've been trying to now finish the resistance and the crit damage for force because I do have... Uh, a very tanky defensive team that I just showed you guys on YouTube. This is what I was referring to. Here are my currently three teams on the defense. And this is keeping me high gold two right now. Gonna bring me to gold three. Uh, I, I love these teams. Right now, they, they're they working perfectly. And they're literally, literally, sorry, almost accessible. In the sense that these are mostly fusion champions. I've said it before. But as a free-to-play player, this is what I try to use uh, as much as possible, okay? Uh, I get that, you know, a counter-attack champion, you got to get that elsewhere for clan boss, but still for Tag Arena, I love the concept of trying to put together teams that will rely a little bit more on the fusion champions, okay? Um, so this is a team right here. This is why I'm trying to increase resistance and crit damage a little bit more so that hopefully my Rosin can nuke a little bit harder. Also going to help out for clan boss, right? Uh, this team right here is okay-ish. I mean, Foley and Arbiter are the most important. My Basher needs to be faster. We can do that real quick. Go over the gear. Although yesterday, I kind of went over a lot of my champions. Again, if you guys come on Twitch, I literally just show everything. Whatever you guys want to see about my champions, uh, it's all there. I'm happy to answer answer any questions you guys might have. I mean, some of these champions, though, are a little bit redundant in the sense that I have too many Dark Elf champions geared at the same time. So it might be more beneficial for me to, like, take this gear and use it on somebody else. That is something I'm considering. Because, like I said, to have a full roster to be able to do all the faction wars, eventually, hopefully, stage 20 and 21 on auto for all of them, I literally need to complete my roster all the way to this champion right here, okay? I still have, uh, what is it, like a, a 10 or so level 50s. And so if I would want to get the best performance out of those, I would need to increase them to level 60, not to mention do uh, skills probably, right? As well as masteries. So I still have a lot of work to do. But overall, 722 stars with what you see right here, right now, okay? And at some point, I'm going to present each of those stages as I complete them. But... Um, still a big work in progress. Recently, I've just did Broadma, we did a Faceless, and then we did the Horden. So um, hopefully those are enough to work on uh, those specific faction wars. All right. So um, guys, I think that's going to be it. We're probably going, yeah, about on 12 minutes already. Uh, so again, overview of my account, what it looks like after 19 months free to play. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, I will catch you guys later.